Hello, this is Zach, and I'm going to show you how to use the unit sequencer to set up releases for your units by week and by palette. So I opened up my job in the takeoff program, Crossroads School of the Arts. Filter doesn't matter. And then I opened up my unit sequencer by running the unit sequence command, and it should open this up. If this isn't the right job, then you can uh, click on the refresh button down here to make sure it loads up the new data. So to do this, you're basically going to be setting little markers that tell the sequencer where the weeks and the days start for the shop. So you have to find out how many units the shop wants per day, and this should be given to you in the pre-takeoff meeting, and it's decided by the shop schedule. So to do this, I select where I want to insert the release, and then I push this button the release button here. This inserts a yellow release which I can rearrange and move around wherever I want. I'm going to put it up here at the top. So week one day one starts at up here. It has 63 units in it. For this job we're going to do 21 units a week. And so I want to scroll down here and I'm going to put another release marker down which will automatically number to week one day two uh, after about 21 units. So there's three, six, that's nine, fifteen, and another six would be about twenty-one. So I select this here, and when I click on this button, it adds week one, day two. And to confirm, I can scroll up here and look. I have twenty-one units on that release, or that day. So week one, day two, I'm going to do about the same thing. Six, 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 and so that's going to be eighteen. Um, you always want a whole number of of pallets for each day. So um, I could either go with an 18 unit day or I can go with a 24 unit day. It's about even either way. Uh, I'm going to go down to here so it would be a 24 unit day. So there we go 24 and 18 for day three, and that's the end of my job. Very small job. So that's how you assign the releases. Um, I'm going to hit the save button down here. Once this is saved, you'll see that it automatically updates each unit with a week, a W, and then a number D, and then a number, so week one, day three for each unit. And you'll see up here it's week one, day two. And this is done instantly. You don't have to go back and re UPD your elevations or change your unit tags to assign them to different releases. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Thank you very much.